Hello, this is Gary Templeton. This lecture is about information technology and decision making in organizations. This lecture is about the intricate relationship between information technology and decision making in organizations. As businesses navigate the complexities of the modern landscape, understanding key concepts becomes imperative. We'll delve into Herbert Simon's decision stages explore how organizational hierarchy shapes decision-making processes, and analyze the various decision types encountered. Additionally, we'll examine the importance of decision support frameworks and delve into the role of office automation systems, expert systems, decision support systems, executive information systems, management cockpits, and knowledge management systems in facilitating efficient and effective decision-making within organizations. In doing so, we will explore how information technology empowers organizations to make informed decisions and drive success in today's dynamic business environment. Information technology and decision-making in organizations refers to the integration of technological tools, systems, and processes to collect, analyze, and utilize data in order to facilitate informed decision-making by management within organizational contexts. Effective decision-making is the cornerstone of organizational success as it enables managers to allocate resources efficiently, mitigate risks, capitalize on opportunities, and achieve strategic objectives. Information technology plays a crucial role in this process by providing managers with timely access to relevant data, analytical tools, and decision support systems, thereby enhancing the quality and speed of decision making while fostering innovation and competitive advantage. Decision making is the process through which individuals or groups select a course of action from among multiple alternatives to achieve organizational goals. It involves identifying problems, gathering relevant information, evaluating options, and making choices based on rational analysis, intuition, and judgment. Effective decision-making is essential for organizational performance and competitiveness as it impacts resource allocation, risk management, innovation, and stakeholder satisfaction. Information technology significantly influences decision-making processes by providing tools and resources that enable managers to collect, analyze, and interpret data in real time. IT systems such as business intelligence, data analytics, and decision support systems empower managers to make informed decisions by leveraging data-driven insights, predictive modeling, and scenario analysis. By integrating IT into decision-making processes, organizations can enhance agility, improve decision quality, and adapt quickly to changing market conditions, thereby gaining a competitive edge and driving sustainable growth. As information technology continues to evolve, so does the field of decision support. From early decision support systems to modern AI-driven analytics platforms, IT advancements have expanded the capabilities and possibilities of decision-making processes. The evolution of IT has led to the emergence of big data analytics, machine learning algorithms, and artificial intelligence tools that enable organizations to process and analyze vast amounts of data at unprecedented speed and scale. These advancements have transformed decision support into a dynamic and proactive process, enabling managers to anticipate trends, identify patterns, and optimize outcomes in real time, thereby reshaping the way decisions are made and executed in organizations. Simon's decision stages refer to the framework proposed by Herbert Simon, which outlines the sequential steps involved in the decision-making process, intelligence, design, and choice. Where intelligence involves identifying the problem, design involves developing and evaluating alternative solutions, and choice involves selecting the best course of action on preferences and constraints. Simon's decision stages provide a structured approach to decision making, helping individuals and organizations break down complex problems 
into manageable components, systematically analyze available information, and make informed choices. By delineating the decision-making process into distinct stages, Simon's framework enhances clarity, transparency, and effectiveness in decision-making, thereby improving decision quality and outcomes. Simon's intelligence phase involves gathering information, identifying problems, and understanding their underlying causes. During this phase, decision makers scan the environment, monitor changes, and seek out relevant data and insights to define the problem accurately and comprehensively. The intelligence phase lays the foundation for subsequent stages of decision making by providing the necessary information and context to generate potential solutions and alternatives. Simon's design phase focuses on generating and evaluating alternative courses of action to address the identified problem. Decision makers brainstorm ideas, analyze potential solutions, and develop action plans based on feasibility, effectiveness, and alignment with organizational goals and constraints. The design phase emphasizes creativity, innovation, and critical thinking as decision makers explore diverse perspectives and approaches to problem solving, ultimately leading to the formulation of well-defined alternatives for consideration. Simon's choice phase involves selecting the most suitable alternative from the options generated during the design phase. Decision makers assess the advantages, disadvantages, and trade-offs associated with each alternative, considering factors such as risk, uncertainty, resource availability, and stakeholder preferences. The choice phase requires weighing competing priorities, making trade-offs, and committing to a course of action that best addresses the underlying problem while optimizing outcomes and minimizing potential negative consequences. Organizational hierarchy in decision-making refers to the structured levels of authority and responsibility within an organization, where decisions are made at different levels based on the scope, impact, and strategic importance of the issues at hand, allowing for a clear delineation of decision-making authority and accountability. Organizational hierarchy in decision-making ensures that decisions are made by individuals or teams with the appropriate expertise, knowledge, and authority, thereby promoting efficiency, coordination, and alignment with organizational goals and objectives. It also facilitates communication, delegation, and coordination of efforts across different levels of the organization, fostering collaboration and synergy in decision-making processes. At the operations level of management, decisions primarily focus on day-to-day -day activities and tasks related to the production, delivery, and support of goods and services. Managers at this level are responsible for overseeing routine operations, managing resources, and ensuring efficiency and productivity in operational processes often relying on established procedures and guidelines to guide decision-making and problem-solving efforts. The tactical level of management involves decisions related to implementing organizational strategies and achieving specific objectives within defined operational boundaries. Managers at this level translate strategic goals into actionable plans, allocate resources, coordinate activities across departments or units, and monitor performance to ensure that tactical initiatives are executed effectively and contribute to the overall organizational success. Tactical decisions often involve balancing short-term objectives with long-term considerations and adapting to changing market conditions or competitive dynamics. At the strategic level of management, decisions revolve around setting long-term goals, defining the organization's mission, vision, and values, and charting the course for future growth and sustainability. Top-level executives and senior leadership teams are responsible for formulating strategic plans, identifying emerging opportunities and threats, allocating resources strategically, and positioning the organization for competitive advantage and market leadership. 
Strategic decisions are holistic in nature, encompassing a broad range of considerations, including market trends, technological advancements, regulatory changes, and stakeholder expectations, and they often have far-reaching implications for the organization's direction, identity, and performance. Decision types refer to the classification of decisions based on the level of certainty, structure, and complexity involved, ranging from structured decisions with clear guidelines to unstructured decisions with ambiguous parameters, thereby guiding decision-making processes toward appropriate methodologies and tools. Understanding decision types helps organizations tailor their decision-making processes, methodologies, and tools to match the complexity and uncertainty of the situation, enhancing efficiency, effectiveness, and outcomes while minimizing risks and resource wastage. By categorizing decisions into structured, semi-structured, and unstructured types, organizations can allocate resources, prioritize efforts, and apply decision support systems more strategically, resulting in improved decision quality and organizational performance. Unstructured decisions are characterized by ambiguity, uncertainty, and a lack of defined parameters, making them challenging to analyze and solve using standard procedures or decision models. These decisions often involve novel or complex situations where information is incomplete or rapidly changing, requiring creativity, intuition, and judgment to navigate effectively. Decision makers must rely on their expertise, experience, and intuition to interpret vague or conflicting information, explore alternative perspectives, and generate innovative solutions tailored to the unique circumstances at hand. Semi-structured decisions fall between structured and unstructured decisions, featuring both defined elements and ambiguous aspects that require interpretation and judgment, while some aspects of semi-structured decisions can be addressed using predefined rules, procedures, or guidelines, other components may involve subjective assessments, trade-offs, or qualitative considerations. Decision makers employ a combination of analytical tools, decision support systems, and human judgment to evaluate options, weigh alternatives, and arrive at informed decisions that balance efficiency with flexibility and adaptability to changing conditions. Structured decisions are characterized by well-defined parameters, clear objectives, and predictable outcomes, enabling decision makers to apply standardized procedures, algorithms, or decision models to evaluate alternatives and identify the optimal course of action. These decisions typically involve routine or repetitive tasks where the criteria for evaluation and the consequences of different choices are known in advance. By automating routine aspects of decision making through predefined rules or algorithms, organizations can streamline processes, reduce errors, and free up human resources to focus on more strategic or complex challenges. A decision support framework is a structured approach or methodology designed to assist individuals or organizations in making informed decisions by providing tools, processes and guidelines. These resources help the decision maker to analyze data, evaluate alternatives, and mitigate risks, thereby enhancing the quality and effectiveness of decision-making processes. Decision support frameworks help streamline decision-making processes, promote consistency and transparency in decision-making criteria, and empower stakeholders with relevant information and insights leading to more effective problem solving and resource allocation within organizations. The Gorey and Scott Morton framework is a seminal model in the field of decision support systems, delineating four stages of decision making, intelligence, design, choice, and implementation. In the intelligence stage, decision makers gather information and identify problems. In the design stage, they develop and evaluate alternative solutions in the choice stage, they select the best course of action, and in the implementation stage, they put the decision into effect and assess its outcomes. This framework provides a systematic approach to decision-making, emphasizing 
the importance of information gathering, analysis, and evaluation throughout the decision-making process. Office automation systems are computer-based tools and software applications designed to automate and streamline routine administrative tasks, such as document management, scheduling, and communication within an office environment, ultimately improving productivity and reducing manual effort. Office automation systems eliminate manual errors, enhance communication and collaboration among team members, and facilitate seamless information sharing and workflow management, thereby increasing efficiency, reducing operational costs, and improving overall organizational performance. A real-world example of office automation systems enhancing routine and repetitive tasks is the implementation of document management software, like Microsoft SharePoint in a corporate setting. SharePoint enables employees to create, share, and collaborate on documents in real time, streamlining document version control, approval processes, and document storage, thereby reducing time spent on manual document handling tasks and enhancing overall productivity. Another real-world example of office automation systems improving operational efficiency is the adoption of customer relationship management or CRM software like Salesforce in sales and marketing departments. Salesforce automates lead management, sales forecasting, and customer interactions, providing sales teams with real-time insights into customer preferences, sales pipelines, and performance metrics. By automating repetitive sales tasks, tracking customer interactions, and analyzing sales data, Salesforce enables organizations to optimize sales processes, improve customer engagement, and drive revenue growth. The most popular tool for creating office automation systems in practice is Microsoft Office Suite, which includes applications such as Microsoft Excel for spreadsheets, Microsoft Word for word processing, Microsoft Outlook for email management, and Microsoft PowerPoint for presentations. These tools offer a wide range of features and functionalities that support office automation, including templates, macros, and integration with other business software applications, making them widely used across various industries for automating routine administrative tasks and enhancing productivity. Expert systems are computer-based systems that emulate the decision-making ability of human experts in specific domains by capturing, organizing, and applying expert knowledge and heuristics to solve complex problems or make informed decisions. Expert systems enable organizations to capture and leverage the expertise of their top performers, improve decision-making consistency and accuracy, and enhance problem-solving capabilities across various domains, ultimately leading to increased productivity, reduced costs, and improved outcomes. A real-world example of expert systems leveraging knowledge for informed decision-making is IBM's Watson, which is used in healthcare to assist physicians in diagnosing diseases and recommending treatment options. Watson analyzes patient data, medical literature, and treatment guidelines to generate evidence-based recommendations, helping clinicians make more accurate and timely decisions particularly in complex cases where diagnosis and treatment options may be challenging to determine. In expert systems, AI and machine learning techniques are utilized to enhance the system's ability to learn from data, adapt to changing conditions, and improve decision-making over time. Machine learning algorithms can analyze large volumes of data to identify patterns, correlations, and trends that may not be apparent to human experts enabling expert systems to generate more accurate predictions, recommendations, and insights. The most popular tool for creating expert systems in practice is CLIPS, C Language Integrated Production System. CLIPS is a public domain software tool for building expert systems that allows developers to define rules, facts, and actions using a rule-based programming language making it widely useful for developing expert systems in various domains such as healthcare, finance, and manufacturing. 
Decision Support Systems, or DSS, are computer-based information systems designed to assist decision makers in solving complex problems and making strategic decisions by providing access to relevant data, analytical tools, and decision models in a user-friendly interface. DSS facilitate data-driven decision-making, improve the quality and timeliness of decisions, and enhance organizational performance by enabling users to analyze alternatives, evaluate scenarios, and assess risks more effectively than traditional decision-making methods. DSS components are first, data management. This component involves collecting, storing, and organizing relevant data from internal and external sources. An example is relational databases, data warehouses, and data mining tools. The second DSS component is model management. This component includes mathematical models, algorithms, and analytical techniques used to analyze data and generate insights. An example is regression analysis, simulation models, and optimization algorithms. The third DSS component is the user interface. This component provides a user-friendly interface for accessing data, running analyses, and presenting results. An example is all graphical user interfaces, dashboards, and interactive visualization tools. Enhancing decision-making through analytical tools involves leveraging advanced analytical techniques and algorithms to extract actionable insights from data, identify trends and patterns, and predict future outcomes. Analytical tools enable decision-makers to explore complex relationships, uncover hidden insights, and make informed decisions based on evidence rather than intuition or guesswork. By applying analytical tools such as data mining, predictive analytics, and machine learning, organizations can gain a deeper understanding of their operations, customers, and markets, leading to more effective strategic planning, resource allocation, and risk management. The most popular tool for creating decision support systems in practice is Microsoft Excel. Excel is widely used for its flexibility, ease of use, and powerful analytical capabilities, allowing users to perform a variety of data analysis tasks, create dynamic reports and dashboards, and develop decision support models using built-in functions, formulas, and macros. Additionally, Excel integrates seamlessly with other Microsoft Office applications and external data sources, making it a preferred choice for developing decision support systems in organizations of all sizes and industries. Executive Information Systems, or EIS, are specialized information systems designed to provide top-level executives and decision makers with timely and relevant information from internal and external sources, enabling them to monitor organizational performance, identify trends, and make strategic decisions effectively. EIS enable executives to access critical information quickly, monitor key performance indicators, and gain insights into the organization's overall health and performance, thereby facilitating strategic planning, resource allocation, and goal setting while enhancing organizational agility and competitiveness. Executive information systems play a crucial role in providing key information for strategic decision makers by aggregating data from various sources, such as internal databases, market research reports, and industry benchmarks, and presenting it in a concise and actionable format. Executives can use EIS to track key performance indicators, KPIs, monitor market trends, assess competitive threats, and identify opportunities for growth and innovation enabling these top managers to make informed decisions that align with the organization's strategic objectives and long-term vision. Real-time dashboards and executive information systems help executives make and delegate decisions by providing up-to-date information on key metrics, trends, and performance indicators in a visually appealing and easily digestible format. Executives can customize dashboards to track specific goals, compare actual performance against targets, and identify areas requiring immediate attention or intervention, enabling them to respond quickly to changing market conditions, emerging opportunities, or potential threats, 
while also empowering them to delegate tasks based on real-time insights. Performance metrics play a critical role in executive information systems by providing quantifiable measures of organizational performance across various dimensions, such as financial, operational, and customer satisfaction. Executives use performance metrics to assess progress towards strategic goals, evaluate the effectiveness of business processes and initiatives, and identify areas for improvement for optimization, enabling them to make data-driven decisions that drive continuous improvement and sustainable growth. The most popular tool for creating executive information systems in practice is Tableau. Tableau is a powerful data visualization and analytics platform that enables users to create interactive dashboards, reports, and visualizations from multiple data sources, allowing executives to explore data, gain insights, and make informed decisions quickly and effectively. With its intuitive interface, robust analytics capabilities, and real-time data connectivity, Tableau has become a preferred choice for organizations seeking to build dynamic and insightful executive information systems that drive strategic decision making and business success. Management cockpits are graphical interfaces or dashboards that provide top-level managers and executives with a comprehensive overview of critical business metrics and key performance indicators, KPIs, in real time, enabling them to monitor analyze and control organizational performance effectively. Management cockpits enable executives to quickly assess the health and performance of the organization, identify trends, outliers, and areas requiring attention, and make informed decisions based on timely insights and data-driven analysis, thereby enhancing strategic planning, resource allocation, and operational efficiency. Management cockpits play a crucial role in visualizing critical business metrics by aggregating data from various sources such as enterprise systems, databases, and external sources and presenting it in a visually appealing and intuitive format. Executives can customize dashboards to track KPIs, compare actual performance against targets, and drill down into underlying data to understand trends, patterns, and drivers of performance, enabling them to make informed decisions that drive organizational success and competitive advantage. Management cockpits also play a vital role in monitoring and control by providing executives with real-time visibility into operational activities, processes, and outcomes, allowing them to identify deviations from planned objectives, detect performance bottlenecks or issues, and take corrective actions promptly to mitigate risks and improve performance. With features such as alerts, notifications, and interactive visualizations, management cockpits empower executives to stay informed, proactive, and agile in managing complex and dynamic business environments, thereby ensuring alignment with strategic goals and driving continuous improvement and innovation. The most popular tool for creating management cockpits in practice is Microsoft Power BI. Power BI is a business analytics tool that enables users to create interactive dashboards and reports from multiple data sources, including spreadsheets, databases, and cloud services. With its drag-and-drop interface, rich visualization options, and seamless integration with Microsoft Office applications and other data sources, Power BI provides executives with the flexibility, scalability, and ease of use to build and customize management cockpits that meet their unique needs and preferences, empowering them to make data-driven decisions and drive organizational performance. Knowledge management systems are computer-based platforms or frameworks designed to facilitate the creation, organization, storage, retrieval, and dissemination of knowledge within an organization, allowing individuals to access and leverage collective expertise, insights, and best practices to achieve organizational goals and improve performance. Knowledge management systems enable organizations to harness and capitalize on their intellectual capital, 
foster collaboration and knowledge sharing among employees, and facilitate innovation, problem solving, and decision making processes, ultimately enhancing organizational learning, agility, and competitiveness in dynamic and competitive business environments. Knowledge management systems play a crucial role in capturing, organizing, and sharing organizational knowledge by providing executives and decision makers with centralized access to critical information, insights, and best practices across various functional areas and business units. Through features such as document repositories, knowledge bases, and collaboration tools, knowledge management systems enable users to capture tacit knowledge, document lessons learned, and share expertise and experiences, thereby fostering a culture of continuous learning, improvement, and innovation within the organization. The most popular tool for creating knowledge management systems in practice is Microsoft SharePoint. SharePoint is a web-based collaboration and document management platform that allows organizations to create intranet portals, websites, and online communities for sharing documents, discussions, and other resources among employees, with features such as document libraries, version control, and search capabilities, SharePoint provides a centralized platform for storing, organizing, and accessing knowledge assets, enabling employees to collaborate effectively, find relevant information quickly, and leverage collective expertise to solve problems and make informed decisions. I hope you enjoyed this presentation on information technology and decision-making in organizations.